Today we're going to look at Modbus TCP. I've got the AEV uh, drive here with firmware 4.18. This is the first Modbus test. Uh, future products will have unique firmware for each drive, but this has a large DRAM, so we can do both EtherCAT and Ethernet. Other products will have a smaller DRAM or SRAM, and we'll need separate firmware for EtherCAT. But today, we're going to hook up the AEV. It's running a KD Mag motor with sine cosine. I've got 20 million counts per rev with 4096 interpolation. I got the serial port connected, SER USB to RJ11, so I can send ASCII commands to configure the drive. And I have the Ethernet port connected to the server. And I'm using DHCP to set the IP address on the drive, and you can see the activity, and I have the drive enabled. So let's take a quick peek at the note here. Um, this is the first note, Rev1, AEV, TCP IP Modbus, firmware 4.18. Enabling the Modbus, uh, bit 9 of the network config parameter in the drive will configure it for Ethernet, and the DHCP is set uh, by setting bit one of this address. We'll refer to the UDP or the Ethernet node. Modbus is always port 502. That's defined by the Modbus spec. Uh, identifier for this drive is zero. This is a single axis drive. If you had a three axis like ABC or a two axis like A and B, then you identify like axis zero or axis one, axis A or axis B. Uh, the Modbus registers are mapped starting at two, at zero. It correlates to the parameter dictionary. The parameter dictionary parameters are 32-bit typically, so you need two 16-bit registers. We're going to use, uh, for read, we'll use function code 3, and for write, we'll use function code 16, which is hex 10. But anyways, um, that's RAM. And 800 hex offsets for reading flash, 1,000 for the bigger parameters like the filters. This is an interesting one. 2,000. These are the trajectory commands like T1, like it initiate the update the trajectory, make the move. T0, it's like a board. Uh, 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 two is homing, so you configure the drive, and then you can issue trajectory commands to make moves. Also, there's a CVM indexer register built into the drive, so you can read and write the registers in the program in the drive, and that's starting at hex 3000. So parameter access, use the uh, starting, it's mapped one-to-one -to, -one to the parameter dictionary, except for that the parameters in the parameter dictionary, like actual motor position, 0x17, are, it's, so we take two 16 bits, so to so multiply 17 hex by 2 and get hex 2e for the most significant word and 2f for the lo less significant word. Uh, flash starting at 800 hex. Long parameters like more than 32 bits like the filters. Uh, there's a lot of blah, blah, blah about that. So we can read that later. Here's the interesting one. You set the... Modbus register 2000 to a value of zero, it'll abort. Value of one, it'll update the trajectory. Value of two, it'll do homing. Value of three sets the trajectory parameters for a multi segment move. Parameter four starts a multi segment move based on the segment saved at previous value three. That's cool and interesting. I haven't seen that before. Stop and start a CVM program. Configure it to run on power up. That's the CVM indexer program and future stuff, uh, indexer registers. Uh, just a quick peek at the UDP, which is the ethernet, same thing. Uh, 2000 configures it for ethernet. 11F is the IP address. So I'm gonna use the DHCP host, which I have to set bit one in this word for the DHCP, because that's what it says here set bit zero to one, excuse me, bit bit zero to one. Anyways, the IP address, if you 
put your own on the computer. You got to program it into the drive and then set the IPV on your computer, a valid node address. You can do it yourself, but I'm going to use the DHCP host. Anyways, let's take a look at the drive. Uh, I'm going to configure using the ASCII tool. I'm going to set RAM 0x121 to bit 9 is set and bit 1 is set for Ethernet and DHCP host. And then I'll get from RAM 0x11f. Uh, I'm going to read it in hex. This is the IP address, which was assigned by the host over the server. This is in RAM and Flash, and they work out the arbitration. Hey, do you remember what your, hey, serial number, blah, blah, blah. Do you remember what your IP address is? Yeah, this is it. And then the host signs it if it's available. Anyways, I'm going to use this QMOD master, and you can see that I programmed in the IP address. A is 10. A is 10, 2 is 2, hex 17 is converted to 23, so hex 17 is 23, so you can see how that works. And the TCP port is always 502 for Modbus. Um, we're going to do not RTU, but TCP, slave address, single axis drive, zero. If it was a three axis drive, I could talk to zero, one, or two. There's a scan rate. These are the function codes. I'm going to read the holding register. I could write to the holding registers. Hex 10 is 16, so function 16. And I'm going to start at, I want the actual position. So um, let me just jog it a little bit. Actually, let's, uh, that's good. So I can write that to zero. Anyways, um, starting at 2E, the most significant 2E. There we go. And number of coils or registers, two. So the high byte and the low byte. That's a funny thing to call it. Uh, and these could be decimal numbers hex numbers. So we'll just read them as decimal, not sign for the moment. Um, let me just draw it a little positive so we get a nice positive number in here. There, that's a big enough number. So I'm going to connect. Connection's okay. I'm going to read. So request and then return a value for 37809, which is the actual position parameter. And we'll decode that with a secret decoder kit four times, not des text, but decimal clear. Four times six, five, five, three, six equals a big number. That's too big. Four times six, five, five, three, six. Ah, that's better. Plus three, seven, eight, oh, nine, three, seven, eight. 9 equals 299953. That's my actual position. So 2E first, the high byte times 65536, and then 2F, the low byte, add them up and you get your actual position. So if I set my zero position, we're going to do a trajectory right. So from this ASCII command, I can send a, a move. 2 million, 20 million count move. So can I do that also over the Modbus? Yes, I can. So I'm going to do a write to the hold register, uh, function 16 hex, and then 0x2 or 2000, 2000 hex, and put in a number there. Let's set that to zero and update it, and there it makes the move. Now, I don't want to scan this thing to make it command the move every second, uh, but if I'm reading positions, then I can scan. So um, anyways, just send that command once to make a move, or send it again when you want to make another move. And uh, that's the 
That's the basic. All right, so I got two minutes left, so we'll try reading an indexer register. So read, hold register, function code three, starting at 3000. That would be register zero. And if I read it, it's a value of zero on ASCII. I'm going to send the IR0 command to one. I'll read it again. Now it's set. So we'll try the write to the indexer register, 3,000 number of registers, two, high byte, low byte, value of two, write, write it to the register, and it's set. So we can read and write the CVM indexer registers over the Modbus using the TCP IP. And that should be enough for today. Thanks for watching.